Hello everyone. What I'm going to do in this video is follow up with an alternative solution to a problem that I posted recently. Um, a few viewers had commented that they would like to see this alternative method of solving this problem. So the problem I'm looking at is to find the smallest value of the function i, where i of a is defined as the integral from 0 to 1 of x squared minus a squared dx. Um, so in a previous video, I had simply computed the integral so that we get an expression with respect to a and then treated that uh, function of a the way we would any other minimization problem, take a derivative and set it equal to zero. This time what I'm going to do is differentiate under the integral sign and see what happens uh, with the rest of the minimization. Now, um, the integrand here is a polynomial with respect to both x and a, um, and it's over uh, a finite domain, 0 to 1. So I don't expect there would be any problems with differentiating under the integral sign or interchanging these two operations. Um, so that's what justifies the that's what justifies the interchange here. Um, I don't know exactly how things are going to end up working out, but um, let's just see. So this is the derivative of, um, of the function i. I've simply taken the derivative of the integrand with respect to a. So the exponent 2 comes down in front, and by chain rule we're multiplying by negative 1. And in order to find uh, a critical point, in order to find a value of a which minimizes this, we have to set this equal to zero. Now I've, of course, canceled off the negative two immediately here. Um, so let's uh, try and solve for a here. We can almost just read off what the value of a has to be, right? But I'll go through the steps of algebra. Okay, so I've split the integral into two parts, um, and then integrating the constant a from 0 to 1 just gives us a, and I've also uh, brought that over to the left-hand side, so the negative sign is gone. That's that a there. This integral I've just done quickly in my head, that's equal to a third, so we know that the value which minimizes this integral is a. I mean, if if we wanted to be really strict here and make sure that it's a, a minimizer, we would do second derivatives or something like that. But we're just going to proceed. Um, we're just going to proceed as given. So uh, the minimum is going to occur at i of one over three. I don't see any quick and easy way of computing this without just substituting a equals 1 over 3 back into the original expression for i of a. So that's that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I like yeah I guess we just have to integrate this and in my head the easiest way to integrate this is to first expand the integrand. And when I substitute, okay, so I've substituted 1 over 3 back in, just evaluated the integral uh, using standard methods, and I get 4 over 45, which, if I remember correctly, is the same answer that I got last time. Um, yeah, so the different method here works. Um, it's hard to say which one is easier, which one is, is harder, this method or the one I used previously. Um, one reason why I may have thought that this method would have been straightforward is that in the previous video, I had to evaluate an integral. Well, I evaluated this integral in general in terms of a. Um, and by differentiating under the integral sign, this integral is easier to evaluate. Um, but at the end, you still have to resubstitute the value of a you find into here and evaluate again. If there's a way of getting around that, then maybe this solution is more straightforward, but I don't see it right away. Um, 
So overall, I think the two methods are more or less the same level of difficulty and the same level or the same number of computations that are needed to do. Um, and the only reason I did it this, I, I did it the other way the first time is simply that's the first thing that came to mind. And I was very confident that that was going to give us um, a correct solution. If I have more to say about this, I'll write it down in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching.